And this is the Lipid Match Flow Tutorial Part 3. And in this tutorial, we'll discuss actually running Lipid Match Flow with your data files. So, first, unzip your Lipid Match Flow portable and then double click the Lipid Match underscore flow dot bat. And so that will open up the GUI. Select the project name, so in this case, demo. And now all you have to do after you select your output directory too, so in this case, we'll do demo file, and there shouldn't be any other files within the output. Folder. So create two subfolders there. And then you can drag and drop your MSMS data here. So it accepts targeted or auto MS slash data dependent MSMS data. And for thermal, also all ion fragmentation data. So let's go into our folder and take our MSMS data and drag it on. Now after you take your MSMS data, you can now go to your negative mode files. Note that you don't need both polarities, although it's recommended. And if you are using both polarities, that the file names should be exactly the same for negative and positive for a single sample injection. So for example, the first QC ran in both negative and positive is the same name. Note that there's target in the name of these QCs, and that means that they're a representative sample or a pooled sample in which untargeted peak detection happens. So you only want as uh, recommended between two and five of these samples. The more of these targeted samples you have, the much longer it will take to run the software. So we'll put one for a negative ion mode, and then we'll also put our samples, so that's going to be QC2 and QC3 for negative ion mode, and you just drag them on. And then you also want to make sure you have three or more blanks. So three to five blanks would be fine here. And note that you can have as many samples as you want. Obviously, you might have 100 samples if you want to compare disease and healthy. Just the ones you choose as target should be limited to between two and five. Um, you can also have one. It works for one. Um, these targeted uh, samples will also be treated as a normal sample, so they'll be included in the feature table later on, too, for comparison purposes. Then you also can upload your files in the same way for positive mode. If you're sure that your files are named in the correct format, you can actually just drag all the files onto positive mode, and it'll give you a warning when the file format names are not correct. So for example, if there was a negative file or a data dependent file. And so in that way, only the file names with the correct format are now added for positive mode. And then you click start. And as soon as you click start, you will see some parameters. So here's MS convert. Uh, finding the directories and processing the files, then MZ mine output will also be in this left hand. Um, you know, you can ignore this, uh, but if there's some errors, then it's important to have these dialog boxes and copy and paste these, maybe send them to me. And then on your right hand side, you'll see some outputs from the lipid match R code, uh, just discussing how the code's going on. Um, and you also have a loading bar for the R code. And so now that you've clicked start, that's really all you have to do. And now you can just wait. Sometimes it takes an hour or a few hours if, for small sample sizes, for example, these. But if you have 100 samples and you have many target samples, especially and many MSMS files um, and longer chromatographic runs, for example, it can take days, one, two, maybe three days max. Uh, and so your computer could be tied up for some time. Oh, so that's important to note. And there will be error messages if something went wrong here, so that you no longer wait. 